In this video, we'll analyze the results of Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase, who conducted experiments in 1952 to determine that DNA was a genetic material and not proteins. In order to carry out these experiments, Hershey and Chase took advantage of the fact that sulfur is found in proteins but not DNA, while phosphorus is found in DNA within the sugar phosphate backbone. They used a specific virus known as a T2 bacteriophage, and this is formed of DNA that you can see in blue, encompassed by a protein shell. Now viruses use host cells in order to reproduce, and in this case, these viruses infect bacteria. And so the question became, when the virus is used to infect the bacteria, would it be the DNA or would it be the protein that was present in the viral offspring or progeny found inside the bacteria? To determine this, they need to be able to identify the DNA and identify the protein from the virus. In order to do that, they tagged the DNA in the virus with radioactive phosphorus, or 32P, and they tagged the protein coat of the virus with radioactive sulfur, or 35S. The radioactive labelled viruses were then allowed to infect the bacteria. Now, if you'd like to follow along and model this process online, there is a program that you can use known as genecube.org. And you can go to that site and if you click here, it shows you information about the experiment and what to do with this simulation. So here I'll demonstrate what happens when you add the radioactive sulfur or 35S to the viruses. So they infect the bacteria and the blending here separates the external protein coat of the viruses from the bacteria that they have infected. And then we use the centrifuge in order to separate out the protein coats of the viruses, which are found at the top in the liquid, otherwise known as the supernatant. And then at the bottom, you can see the bacteria that were infected by the virus. Now we can use the sensor to detect the presence of radioactivity. And you can see that as a dial swings to the right, we can detect radioactivity in the supernatant at the top, but not in the bacteria at the bottom that were infected by the viruses. Now, if the simulation is repeated, but this time using radioactive phosphorus, 32P, as opposed to the radioactive sulfur, then the radioactive phosphorus is present in the viral DNA, and the virus infects the bacteria, as you can see there. We then separate off, again, the protein coats of the virus from the bacteria using the blender, and use the centrifuge to separate, once again, the protein coats of the virus into the supernatant at the top, and the bacteria are left at the bottom. Now, if we use the sensor this time, we will find that there is very little to no radioactivity detected in the supernatant at the top. But if you move down to the bacteria, you will see there is a high degree of radioactivity being detected here, indicating that the 32 phosphorus was transferred into the bacterium. So as a result of detecting the 32 phosphorus being transferred into the bacterium and knowing that the phosphorus is found in DNA, Hershey and Chase were able to determine that DNA is in fact the genetic material and not proteins.